In this problem, we're told, suppose a rocket launches with an acceleration of 30.5 meters per second squared. What is the apparent weight of a 92 kilogram astronaut board this rocket? So as usual, draw what's going on. So we have this rocket, right? We know it's going to be accelerating at 30.5 meters per second squared. And since we're going to be dealing with forces in this problem, it's always good to draw a free body diagram. So what you want to do, right? We know we have one force, which is going to be the force due to gravity, mg, right? This is going to be the force as a result of gravity, so it's just mg. And then we're also going to have another force since we're dealing with uh, apparent weight, which is basically the normal force. So normal force we just call F sub n. And yeah, so we have the normal force and we have the force due to gravity. And so the way we're going to solve this problem is by using the sum of the forces, right, by Newton's second law. The sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. And so you want to say mass times acceleration, and then you want to add up all the forces in this direction, right? So what forces do we have acting? We have F sub n and we have mg. And so if a force is going upwards, such as F sub n, you label it positive, right? And then we're going to have minus mg because it's going down. So we know F sub n, or ma, is equal to F sub n minus mg. And so they tell us the apparent weight, right? What that means essentially is they're talking about the normal force. So if they ever ask you for apparent weight, whether it's an elevator or a rocket like this, they're talking about the normal force. So what you want to do is solve for F sub n using these, right? And we know the mass of the astronaut is really 92. We know they're going to be accelerating at 30.5, and then we know g. So all we got to do is use this formula and solve for f sub n. So we can say f sub n equals, and then I'm going to add mg to the other side. So you get mg plus ma. And then we can factor out an m, so just m times g plus a. And so what we can do now is just go ahead and plug it in. So f sub n, or the apparent weight, is going to be equal to their true mass, which is 92, times g, which is 9.81. Right, that's just... Uh, number you should memorize, plus the rate at which they're accelerating, which is 30.5. So go ahead and plug this in, 92 times 9.81 plus 30.5. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get F sub n is equal to 3708.52. And so keep in mind what we measure this in, right? This is going to be in uh, Newtons, so 30, or 3708. You can just round to 3,700 newtons if you'd like, but just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to do. So just use whatever answer how your teacher wants you to use. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.